Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Massive Ukrainian missile attack on Sevastopol, Crimean Peninsula, Russia. About 10 Storm Shadow missiles rained over the Crimean Peninsula, more precisely Sevastopol, destroying two Russian landing ships and some other important facilities. Now, this is um, a big development because the Ukrainians were never able to do such a thing before. Ten storm shadows, two landing ships, and it's another communication um, post, they say, communication center in Sevastopol, Crimea. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven articles and one map to start with uh, right here. Ukrainska Pravda, Sunday, 24th of March, 2024. Ukrainian forces hit two Russian landing ships and communications center in Sevastopol, Crimea. So let me show you the map first. Well, this is Ukrainska. Here is Crimea right here. I'm telling you, this is just a foreplay before they hit the Kerch bridge, right? The Crimean bridge. This is going to be attacked in the same manner, you're going to see. And I said this many times before, and I will uh, keep saying that. Here is Sevastopol, here in the southern tip of the Crimean Peninsula. So this is where this occurred. Uh, let's go and hit Crimean Sevastopol, right here. This is where they are still located, it seems like. The Russians still have um, um, their Black Sea Fleet here. So the Ukrainians, <clears throat> NATO, will hit the uh, Kirsch Bridge in the same manner. They will flood the air, the air, airspace. These guys are gonna pop, 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 boom, 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 zam, zam, and then they come with a second, uh, or maybe in the same um, salvo, they will overwhelm the defenses of the Russian Federation if they don't have air defenses, if they don't have enough. So let's go back to the article. Ukrainian forces, defense forces, defense forces had struck two Russian landing ships, Yamal and Azov, as well as a communications center and several infrastructure facilities belonging to the Russian Black Sea Fleet in occupied Sevastopol, Crimea. I have here articles from the Russians telling us from their perspective what happens, which is obviously nothing. And then we have also the Americans or whomever you want to put Reuters in what category telling us what happened. And I'm quoting, the defense forces have successfully hit the Yamal and Azov landing ships, a communications center and several infrastructure facilities belonging to the Russian Black Sea Fleet. End quote. The Yamal was designed in Poland. <gasps> Poland, Poland, Uber, Papa. Really? In 1987, it was a crew. It has a crew of 98 people and its length is 112.5 meters. So that's about what? 115 yards, let's put it this way. And you want to fit multiplied by three. So you got about what? 330 some feet or more. This is um, one of those. This is actually the Yamal, not one of those. It is. This landing ship was hit what a, by a storm shadow missile. Big, beautiful ship. The Azov, not no more. The Azov is a large anti-submarine warship with a length of 112 meters and 87 crew members. The ship can be used to lay naval mine fields, transport humanitarian aid, and for evacuation from dangerous areas. In addition, the landing ship can be used for military cargo, provisions for ships, or a fleet deployed on dispersed ba basing position points. The Azov, right here, this is the Azov landing ship. The Azov has a variety of loading options, including 150 long landing troops, that's more, and 10 T-55 tanks with a crew of 40 people. The ship can transport 650 tons of cargo over 4,700 miles. Holy moly macaroni, that's about 10, no, 10, um, 7, 8, almost 8, 7,000 kilometers, and sail in all non-frozen seas and oceans without limitation. Oh, so now they're good uh, ships. This is what you do. 
when you are successful, that's uh, self-attribution, uh, whatever. Um, it is uh, it's like this. Uh, when I uh, succeed in something, it's because of my balls. If I fail, it's because of the weather, you, he, uh, something else. You know, my belt was too tight. My ass was uh, with the pants on or the underwear got in my ass or something like that. The same here. Now we find out these beautiful ships are actually fantastic. Why? Because they hit them. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is baby, baby stuff. Childish. So we go to the next one. The next uh, article. Three storm shadow missiles hit Russian Black Sea Fleet communication center in Sevastopol. So you see, little by little, we get to the truth. Uh, photo and videos. We're not going to play the videos because of YouTube's uh, too much freedom. <laughs> and I want to protect the audience to go to their safe spaces and uh, their pussies. Okay? Pussies. That's what it is, my friend. They, they try to pussify us. We will not allow that. But we have to play uh, by, their, by their rules at this point. What can you do? They got the upper hand. But we will have it in the near future. App uh, appears that at least three Ukrainian Storm shadow, shadow cruise missiles just slammed into a major Russian Black Sea Fleet communication center. So three in one communication. And then we have <coughs> two big ships, landing ships. So, that's, so that means five out of ten, I tell you already. I want to play this video. We have been informed that missiles have hit uh, the main special communication center of the Russian Black Sea Fleet at 1 Mikolaiv Musbi Bibububu Street. So this is where they hit it. They claim and you hear something. No, they show us this. Okay, points of communication. Okay, good for you. Background. About 10 explosions were heard in occupied Sevastopol on Saturday evening. So that's Sunday morning, I guess. The occupation authorities reported that the air defense systems had been activated and targets shut down. And the telegram channel Crimean Wind reported that strikes had occurred in the city. Next. Update. Update 1. Ukraine rains missiles on Sevastopol, Crimea, Russian installed official says. March 24, 2022. Russian air defense systems shot down more than 10 missiles. Oh my, I thought it was only 10. My bad. Over the Crimean port of Sevastopol late on Saturday, a Russian installed official said, forcing transport disruptions on the peninsula that Moscow annexed from Ukraine. By vote. Referenda. Referendum. But there were two, actually. Right? There's referenda. And I'm quoting, our military is repelling a massive attack on Sevastopol. This guy says, said on a Telegram messaging app. The preliminary information showed more than 10 missiles had been shot down, he added. So if more than 10, let's say it's 11, plus about 5, it's about 16, right? Because the, the Ukrainians said 3 hit the communication and 2 must have hit the 1, 2 uh, ship. So at least 16. You know, I'm trying to put together shit that I don't... <clears throat> I can't verify. It's just these guys say that. Those guys say that. The fact is, it seems like, I don't know if those videos here, you know, they showed explosions. But what do I know? Is it from today? Is it from some time before? Is it Sevastopol? I have no idea. Therefore, I'm not going to say, yeah, they, that's the evidence. I can verify. It's an explosion somewhere in the night in the city. What city? Pfft, they tell me this. They can tell me it's on the moon. How do I would they verify it? Oh, there's no cities in the moon, on the moon. Let's move on. So, what do we have here? Again, these guys are telling us the propaganda. I'm not going to go over that. Next one. Sputnik. Air defenses destroy several targets over Crimea Sevastopol governor. Okay, let's see what the uh, Russians tell us. Air defense systems have shut down several air targets in the Crimean city of Sevastopol on Saturday, adding that a child... Okay, I'm not going to read that. Air defense continue to operate. Several air targets have been shut down according to preliminary data. That's it. It says here, adding that over 10 projectiles had been destroyed. One person was, okay, we're going to go over that. Russia today, 23rd of March, 2024. Ukraine fires barrage of missiles at Crimea, governor. Have launched multiple projectiles at the city, hosting a key Russian naval base, a top regional official said. Let's see what they say right here. 
according to Razvozayev, the ground defense have shot down more than 10 missiles. He described the attack as the most massive one in recent times. Okay, they tell us about the 60-year-old projectiles. There, he said on Telegram that the projectile struck an office building. <coughs> Don't you think it's important what kind of office building? Uh, while parts of another missile hit a five-story residential complex, the authorities continue to assess the damage. Unverified videos posted to Telegram show bright flashes in the sky and several large explosions on the ground. See, that's why I trust these guys a little bit better, because it's against their interest to claim all this. I trust them because they say, well, they were on the ground as well, okay? And they were in the air. I think both happened. The Russians probably hit some targets in the air, and I think the Russians were uh, missed some. Ukraine has repeatedly targeted Crimea, pop, pop, pop. Let's see. Uh, this is the Belgorod. We don't talk about it right now. Let's move on. This is not what we need. This is what well, not we need. So that's it, my friends. More than 10 missiles. So if more than 10 missiles were shut down, as I said, let's make a, let's be conservative and we get 11. We're going to say 13. So 11 plus what the, the other side claims, as I said, three on the communications center plus one in Azov and the other one in Yamal. So we got a uh, five. 5 plus 11, it's about 16 Storm Shadow missiles, those guys said, at least 10 Storm Shadow missiles stormed over Sevastopol. More to come. Now it seems like uh, things are um, getting a little bit more, uh, not exciting, uh, heated over there. We'll see how the Russians will uh, respond. They already responded in the past, what, three days with three missile and drone massive attacks over Ukraine. Today I just uploaded a video with the latest uh, attack uh, and the Russians also used the Kinzhal missiles to hit the Polish territory in Ukraine, Lviv or Lvov, and not only. And one missile crossed in through into Poland and the Poles, uh, Poles and their allies, <laughs> the occupiers, uh, unofficial occupiers. Um, scramble their air, um, aircraft to monitor it. I uh, also uploaded a video on that one. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.